Meteorologist Tony Sidico back with us. It's raining outside. Yeah, we got a little bit of rain, and the rain just gets heavier as we go through tonight, and then overnight especially, just going to be a mess. So we want folks to be prepared. That's why we've triggered that yellow alert. And uh, so let's break down some of the details. So the toughest hours we think are going to be just after midnight. So 1 a.m. to 6 a.m., maybe you're not planning to be out during those hours, so you'll miss out on the worst, but there'll still be some impacts surrounding those times. Just want you to be aware that that's when we really expect conditions to be really, really challenging. Gusty winds along the coast, 50 miles per hour. That's why we got the wind advisories. Minor coastal flooding, certainly a risk as well as those winds tighten. And then three quarters of an inch to an inch and a half is, is about the amount of rain we're expecting out of this. Right now, you see the coverage of rain. Decent downpours coming through I-80 in Jersey, all moving north through parts of Sussex County into Passaic. So heads up in places like Sparta and Vernon. Got a little bit more action approaching Long Island right now, although you're dry in parts of Nassau. Heads up for some of this. Had a little bit of meat earlier, but you can expect it. East Quag, 549, and then it towards uh, places like um, Flanders just before 6 o'clock. So the Twin Forks areas see a little bit of rain, and it's all part of this strong storm system man folks in the deep south happy that this is now moving away they were hammered for quite some time but what we'll watch for us is as this low strengthens to our west not only is it going to push rain our way but it's also going to get the winds going there's the front that's just to our south it's a warm front it lifts to the north that's why you may notice temperatures get up a little bit but keep in mind that warmth will add to the instability essentially priming our atmosphere to rumble and we can see some thunderstorms in the forecast not this evening this evening anything you're doing certainly have the umbrella be prepared for a passing shower or two nothing all that heavy but then we cross over into the overnight hours and then you look at this now i don't see a severe risk here but certainly some of these downpours are going to pack a punch and they're going to come and come down heavy so you're traveling you're working the overnight shift i mean some of this could even wake you up overnight tonight into early tomorrow you're future cast picture what radar can look like at 5 30 shows we're not done with it through that morning commute maybe some of this is further to the north it looks like the hudson valley long island dealing with the worst of it but just keep in mind you're dropping your kids off to school you're heading to work the weather may not cooperate they're responding on the roads there's some gusty winds some gusty showers take us through about 10 o'clock in the morning too after a brief break and then you know believe it or not we improve quickly for your friday afternoon don't be surprised breaks the sun maybe not totally dry and then can't rule out some wraparound moisture early saturday as the system finally exits sunday looks nice but then there can be another wave of rain sunday night. I want to show you the winds really quickly. They get gusty through tonight, 20, 30 miles per hour. And then because there's less friction over the water, can we see gusts 40 to 50 enough to maybe bring down a tree branch, isolated power outage? We can't rule that out for areas along the coast. Those winds still with us, by the way, tomorrow. How about that weekend? Okay, things are looking good. Maybe a little bit on the cooler side. Saturday, still blustery. Sunday, temperatures come back up. Late shower. Monday, Tuesday, best days of the next seven with numbers in the 70s and then another chance of rain. Yeah, that's going to feel more like spring. Ready for that. Yes. Totally. Thank you, Tony.